Hey guys, we're making a terrarium. Today we're gonna make a grow and glow terrarium. Ava got this for a birthday gift, and we'll show you how it goes. You can make it with the kids. And we already or with got some. The same materials. We already got some. So we had a sand, a and jar. Some, you can use a and some mist. You can use a mason jar or a plastic jar like this. And the first thing she did was put some potting soil on the bottom before we were recording. After and that, what did you do? I add some mist. We have a little spray bottle of water to set the soil from moving around too much, and she sprayed the soil. So our next layer is going to be the sand. You can use any sand that you find or may have on hand. The sand and you can that get this at Target. The sand that we got is blue sand. So I'm gonna and Ava will pour it into the jar and I'll hold it up. How many? Directly onto the sand. And it Wait. sets it. Good. Do we pour it? Yep, and you're gonna pour it on top of this sand. This will be our next layer. What we're doing is layering the different materials. Soil! Soil! And then you wanna put you wanna put rocks again? Yes. Ava decides to use soil, sand, rocks, sand, rocks. And our last layer would be the soil. Ooh, yummy. Put some mist. Mist uh, the soil. Sand. And we want it to be very damp. Even more. Even more. And now, if you have any, you don't want to shake it because we want the layers to stay still. Showing them. I was showing them. Okay. We have a mushroom and we have a rabbit. A rabbit. What do we need in order to grow plants? Some seeds. Seeds. So we're going to put, we have chia seeds and wheat. Wheat seeds. Wheat grass seeds. So I'm going to so open these up and I'm going to have you. Which one do you want to do first, Mom? Which one do we do first? I like these seeds. Have some. So, so here's the packets of seeds. Seeds. Chia seeds and wheatgrass seeds. Wheatgrass seeds. And Ava, you can put them, you're going to put them behind your figurines so you can watch them grow. So you're going to put it in the back, behind the bunny and the... Not mushroom. on them, as else you can't behind. see them. Behind, I know. Because there's soil in front of them. And put... I love butterflies. Add the lid. So this lid came with some stars punched out for a starry sky lid. And if you don't have that, that's okay. Ava you can add the stickers on the outside of the jar. I like caterpillars too. And I have a worm named Jimmy. <laughs> it's true. Whenever the worms come out, I call him Jimmy. Calls him Jimmy. They're my friends. I'm gonna put this bee over here, trying to mine. No, it's on the flower. The bee's on the flower. See? I'll show you when we're finished. 
How about this? Ooh, this? Ooh, yeah. I'm going to put this one on. It might not fit. It's okay. And if you don't have stickers, it's okay, too. You can use your own if you have any, like... Or leave it plain, like a... Okay. Or you can just make it like if you have your own stickers, or you can leave it plain. Sometimes I like leaving stuff plain. I'll show. Because soon the plants will grow, and that will be the decoration. Right? This is going to be a design. Like it? Then we're gonna, I'm going to start with the tall mushrooms. I love mushrooms, but it feels squishy. I'm going to start with a little sunshine. And you don't have to use them all. Mm -hmm. I just gave you choices. Choices. I'm not going to use the some at the same time. I just like this one because I saw it. You don't have to use all of them. check on it every day but in about three to four days it should start to sprout and Ava your job is to make sure that the soil remains damp we don't want it to get dry you know glow at and night and you're going to use your water mister garden mister to keep that soil damp got it so we're going to put it outside right I think we can keep it inside by a window that gets some light like Yep, so she'll go do that now, and we'll see you next time. Yeah. 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 Yeah.